Korea is surrounded by the sea on three sides. The peninsula's western and southern coasts are known for their tidal flats. The wetland in the west, in particular, is recognized as one of the world's five greatest. Korea's mud flats are also where you can find such activities as eel catching and mud wrestling. Here are just a few of the ways to enjoy Korea's beautiful mud flats. This is the Yongguang Tidal Flat in Jeollanam-do Province, one of the most well-known mud flats on Korea's west coast. The Yongguang Flat is a mixture of sand and mud. The fine muddy mixture is swept out to the sea during winter and returns again in summer, replenished with all the nutrients of the sea. These men standing on the mud flat appear eager yet tense. They're about to enter a one-legged fighting tournament. The last one standing will win the title. The fight is on, but it's not easy to maintain balance on just one leg in the slippery mud. Only two contestants remain in a close battle. At last, a decisive blow leaves only one man standing as victor. It was an exciting match, even for the spectators. Now it's time for vacationers to try their hands at catching eels. About 150 eels were released into the mud flats. This was an event organized to publicize the superior quality of young guang eels. People are brimming with anticipation even before the event starts. They sprint toward the flat at the start signal. They dig through the mud and even throw their whole bodies into it. But the elusive eels are tough to find. Even when one is spotted, it's an all-out war to pull it out. Tenacity finally pays off. <laughs> the eels caught in the event can be cooked right there on the spot. They taste even better after such hard work. Now let's go to the southern shores. This is where you can see the funny-looking mud skippers, which supposedly live only in the cleanest tidal flats. Their presence proves that the mud flats of the Suncheon Bay area are unpolluted. If you want to go out to the flats to catch mud skippers, you have to ride a mud flat boat, which resembles a surfboard. Now that they're ready to catch mud skippers, they charge ahead on the mud flat boats. But the mud skippers are too quick to catch. They practically fly across the mud. See how fast they are even in slow motion. Just then, Finally, one man succeeds in getting his hands around a mud skipper. Visitors can see other wetland creatures here, such as Japanese ghost crabs and sea snails. Summer is the only time when ordinary people can fully experience the mud flats and make new, interesting memories.